you're battling with lust, like I am, and you're on your spiritual path, and you're just walking around, like I am, I'm just walking around the park, because the spiritual tax are increasing. And you know that the only thing that's going to get you through, the only person, is Jesus. This is probably for you. I'm extremely upset with my lust. I feel like I can't do anything at all. But I also feel like everything's been taken care of. <laughs> like... Like, I don't feel like anything's happening right now, but I know. <laughs> but I know deep down something is. And it is frustrating. And I'm just really upset that I'm such a lustful person. I currently, right now, can't even be around girls without thinking of stuff. And I'm realizing that I'm way further behind and worse off, like worse than I thought I was. But I'm not too far from God. He's with me right now. I just know it. I want to just like make this video I don't know why I am <laughs> but um I think somebody else is going to relate with what I'm feeling because I know I know for a fact that Jesus is working on me right now because I trust him that someday I'm going to look back at this video Maybe never. Maybe I will. Sorry, there's a train way over there. And know that I'm not the same guy I was. But it can be really frustrating. Because I want it to happen now. But I know that's not how it works, Father. <laughs> And I want to really help people. But how do I help people if I'm incapable of doing things? If I'm incapable of doing things. And there's a lot of things that I felt like I overcame or I'm working through. But I'm just brand new on this journey with Jesus. And I'm actually really excited because I know it's going to make me into the best me, the me, the me that I've always wanted to be. I just wish it could happen now. But they say all good things happen in time, right? And with effort. No, nothing happens quick. Lots of, hello, lots of, um, lots of nights probably going to be like this, just walking around, listening, staring up at the stars, <laughs> thinking how incredibly merciful and gracious our Lord is. To pick a sinner like me I am lucky I'm not lucky I am gifted that last weekend I got baptized and this is November of 2024 I've just been feeling spiritual attacks since then that was only last week but lust is one of those things where if I want to have a girlfriend and a wife and kids 
and family, I'm going to have to conquer it. And I have a couple of things that some people have been saying on the on YouTube is that God, you got to look at what God's heart is first. He loved us. He loved us first. And we're not fighting against, we're fighting against flesh and, we're not flesh and blood, but against spirits in the heavenly realms. So, I, I, I'm weak. I cannot do that. Not only do I know I can't do this alone, I'm inside screaming because it's frustrating and it's agonizing and I just feel the rot in my heart. But I know that my, like my soul is being purified because I want to be like Jesus. I can never fully be like Jesus. But man, do I don't want to be the old me. <laughs> I don't know if this is advice or me ranting but you're not alone whoever's watching this with what you're going through i feel you know the lord's picking a bunch of people i i don't know why the lord chose me i think it's because i'm not gonna give up there's a lot of things in my life i thought i got gave up on just to realize that i never gave up i used to be a drug addict and i i would say that I don't do drugs, but if somebody gave me drugs, I'd do drugs, um, which is why I'm staying away. The only thing keeping me from not doing drugs is remembering, is remembering that the Lord is walking. I don't know why I'm in this park, you know, but I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I'm here. <laughs> you know, Satan's really wanting to be out, get after me. <sighs> you know, Satan really, really has something out for me. I, I, I am looking to find a place by myself. Because my mindset right now is put me in a room or in my own place where I can focus on becoming the best me without family or friends around and just becoming the best me that I possibly can with the Lord. Like, there's, it's strange because I used to want to be around people. And now I just want to be alone. I just want to be completely alone. Because I know the only way that I'm going to get a wife and a girlfriend is if I figure this stuff out. And well, if the Lord <laughs> cleanse it, he's going to cleanse me at some point. Like I know I'm going to look back on this and be like, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. It's a full moon tonight. I don't know, think you can see that, but the full moon oh it is it is frustrating let me tell you when you want to be something but you know that the only one that can change it is the creator of everything and that, that's not the frustrating of the part the frustrating part is that you yourself are that thing that you don't want to be like I want to be I want to look at people and love them for the creation that God made them. Not look at them and be like, are they good at having sex? That doesn't feel good. That feels terrible. And Satan wants me to feel really shameful about that. But a lot of people feel the way I do. A lot of people feel the way I do. This moon is incredibly bright. And I... I know that there's probably going to be harder days than this. But lust is one of those big things where it just, I have to defeat it. 
it has to be killed. It's affecting the way that my flesh and my spirit talk to each other. Like, I just want to walk by a spirit, but the spirit can only walk if I kill the lust or else it can't control me. Right? So, maybe it's, I don't know. It's going to happen. It's going to happen at some point. I think it's happening right now. I don't know how long it's going to take. But don't give up. Like my faith is, it just keeps going back to Jesus. <laughs> and I want to cry because his mercy <laughs> and his grace is just, in order for this to happen, it's outside of what I'm comfortable and normal with doing. And it's like, oh, am I going to hell for thinking these things? And it's like, no, you were going to go to hell, but now you put your faith in Lord Jesus. And now he's going to change you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and I want to cry, but I can't cry. And that's a really crappy thing. Because I think it's like. I don't know. Like. I don't know. I have to blame it on myself. I can't just keep going back and be like, oh, it's the devil. Because I have a lot of rotten things in me. A lot, a lot of like other people too. If I can't look at females and think about something and then I try and turn away and I'm like, oh, you're doing the wrong thing. Just go back to Jesus. But it's not working. It's because I need a different approach. I need to focus solely on this one thing. I need to ask the Lord every day and really narrow my vision down to defeating this singular thing instead of just trying to do a whole bunch of things at once. Don't try and take on too much at once. Let the Lord just do one thing at a time. Trust me, man, or woman watching this, you got a lot of things wrong with you, but those things aren't wrong with you because you got the Lord looking out on you. You're gonna be fine. And he, cause he loves, <laughs> he loves you, Damien. He loves me, he loves you, but man, and I, I, I'm starting to love myself too. <sighs> I just dislike that I can't live the life that I want because of these spiritual attacks pointing and prodding at the one weakness that I have. So <sighs> there's a Bible verse that I wanted to tell you. Let me just try and remember it. Um, it's something that I go back to all the time, but I can't remember. Oh, I should have said hello to that. I don't know. There's so many other things. Okay. Let me think. Um, temptations in your life are no different than what others experience and the Lord is faithful he will not tempt you beyond what you can endure something like that I can't remember and I've been reading it all week so <laughs> I need to start remembering some Bible scriptures as well I'm just telling you guys my problems <clears throat> to let you guys know that you're not alone And I think I'll do this whenever things work. Because I do want to like make content and like tell people about how I'm doing and stuff. And I make music, but I don't even know what I want. Like I have to first overcome my, my problems before I can start dwelling on enjoyable activities. Like skiing and music and finding a girlfriend and you know making money and stuff focus on who you are first and I'm pointing at myself because you are very important you know you're important in the sense of you woke up this morning 
So you have something to be doing. You know? And I want whoever watches this to know that I want you to do the best that you can to the best of your abilities and to love and share in Jesus' word. And yeah, you're not alone in your lust. You're not alone in your battle. Just keep your faith in Jesus. Keep your faith in the Lord. He's with you right now. <laughs> okay. Have a good night, guys. God bless. Take care. Leave a like and a comment if you want to see more of this stuff. Just let me know. Even if it's a really mean comment, I really don't care. Just leave something and let me know. Let me know how you're doing. All right. Bye.